Hi, I'm PJ McTavish, welcome back to another DCG tutorial. So this one I'm going to do something slightly different, I'm going to do an actual tutorial, kind of like the skew lines one. So that's the tutorial on finding the traces of planes, so the vertical trace and the horizontal trace. So rather than doing a full question out, like this one is uh, section B, question B1 from the 2009 paper. So rather than doing the full question out again, what I have here is uh, the printed out marking scheme. And here you see they've done the elevation and done the plan already, and your horizontal traces and your vertical traces are put in. So I'll just go through how they were found and why they were found. Okay, so this is part C of the question, and it says the term of the traces is a bleak plane that contains the front stand and the rear stand. So the front stand is this front surface here. All right, you see there with the grid, same thing here in the elevation, and then you have your rear stand there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shade them in with uh, two separate colors first, and I'll fast forward through this. Okay, so I might shade the shade in this front uh, stand first, all right? So you see here in yellow, the outline of it in the elevation and the plan. So it says to find the traces of the plane that contains that surface. So the traces are basically where that plane cuts through the horizontal plane and the vertical plane. Okay, so the horizontal plane is represented by the XY line in elevation and is represented as the vertical plane in plan. So your oblique plane, if you see here, this is, I wouldn't say an easy one, but it is uh, a nice one in the fact that your plane is cutting the horizontal plane. It's touching the XY line. So you see your, plan, your plane is extended down here and it's actually physically touching the horizontal plane. So you see here the bottom of it is physically touching the horizontal plane. So that angle has to be the angle that the uh, horizontal trace makes. So basically where this surface is coming down and touching or cutting through your horizontal plane because the plan there is on projected onto the horizontal plane so all down here is your horizontal plane so this angle has to be the horizontal trace and you extend it over until you hit the xy line because it's a plane that will cut through both the elevation and or sorry both the vertical plane and the horizontal plane okay so that's why it's extended back here so i'll extend that back a bit of change as well Okay, so that's the angle of your horizontal trace, and it stops at the XY line because that represents the vertical plane. It's not going to go past it. Now, where do we find the traces of that plane extending back and cutting the vertical plane? If this is the angle of the horizontal trace, okay, going back and hitting the XY line. Remember, what is the XY line representing in plan? It's representing the vertical plane. So this is hitting this trace of the oblique plane that's hitting the vertical plane. So the angle at the top of the surface will be the same angle as the horizontal trace. So if we extend that back, we'll find a point on the vertical plane. So I'll put that in a bit of color here as well. So if we extend back the top of the surface at the same angle as the horizontal trace. So this one, again, it's kind of slightly easier because they are parallel. But you might have a cone here, you might have a different surface, so you'd have to, or a triangle in your corner jump question. So you'd have to take one of the points and project it back at the same angle as horizontal trace. Okay, so we extended that back, and this is giving you a point on the vertical plane. Okay, i.e., a point on the vertical trace. How do I project that point up to the elevation? Okay, it's here, so it has to be directly above itself in the elevation. So as you can see there, it has been projected straight up. How do I find the point on this line now? What do we do in plan? We extended the edge of the surface. Okay, we project that back here. So bring the top edge of the surface parallel to the x-y-line across, i.e. giving you a true length here. Okay, if it's parallel to the x-y-line and elevation, it would be true length in plan. So we've extended this across here to hit the x-y-line bring the point, in this case it's a line, but you might have a point, so you have to bring the point parallel to the XY line, straight across until you reach your line.
and where they meet is a point on the vertical trace and you already have a point of the vertical trace thanks to the horizontal trace down here join them back and that will give you a vertical trace all right now i'm going to find a second image in here uh showing a 3d of a range of different planes uh, oblique planes simply inclined planes and so on and how they cut into the elevation and plan so you see from that image what you're showing here is just the traces just literally where it cuts the horizontal plane and where it cuts the vertical plane and that's all you're doing you are this one again is easy because it's touching the horizontal plane so where it's touching the horizontal plane that's your horizontal trace extend that angle back to you the xy line that's a point then on the vertical trace and elevation extend a point or an edge parallel to the horizontal trace back to the xy line project it straight up because obviously if that's where the point is in plan it has to be directly above itself in elevation whatever point or surface you project it back here to find that point that surface has to be projected parallel to xy line and elevation and where they meet gives you the height to that point therefore you can draw in the vertical trace okay so the next part of that part c was also the rear support so let's put that in now as well i'm going to shade in this rear support with a different color you see it here in the plan and i'll go through how they found the traces out okay so that's it shaded there in blue even though it's in detail at the back shade the whole thing just so you can see it now similar to the first part you already have the horizontal trace because the plane is touching the horizontal plane Okay, it's touching the XY line elevations, resting on it. Therefore, that edge, that base edge, which is this, you see here projected down from the plan, is this line here. Therefore, that line has to be the angle of horizontal trace. And see here in the mark scheme, you don't just draw it from the edge up to the XY line, you extend it past it, all right? Put in a good length of it. So that has to be the horizontal trace, and it stops at the XY line. What do we do to find another point on the vertical trace? in the elevation from the last one. We extended the other edge of the surface, so this is our other edge here, parallel to our horizontal trace to the XY line and project straight up because that's a point on the vertical trace and it has to be directly above itself. The surface then at the top that we projected back, bring that back parallel to the XY line to reach your line, that has to be point on the vertical trace then. So I'll just shade that, those lines in. So we project to the top surface back parallel so look, parallel to the horizontal trace, project it straight up, because it has, that's a point on the vertical trace. Okay, that's a point on the vertical plane. And if it's a point on the vertical plane, it'll be a point on the vertical trace. So that was projected straight up. The surface itself is here. That was brought parallel to the XY line, back across until they met, and that gave you a point on the vertical trace. Okay, where's your other point? It was down here on the where the horizontal trace hit the XY line. By joining them together, it gives you the vertical trace. Okay, so these traces are just where our, those surfaces are contained in planes, all right? And if you were to extend them out, they would cut through the horizontal plane and also the vertical plane, okay? So this is just showing literally where the edges of the surfaces meet, all right? Where the oblique plane that contains the front surface meets the horizontal plane where it meets the vertical plane. Okay, so there's three more marking schemes I'm going to go through, and so hopefully this helps to find the traces. I'll just skip forward now and stick on the next sheet. Okay, so this is the second marking scheme I'm going to go through, and this is uh, question B2 from section B, 2010. Okay, and this is part C of the question, it says determine the horizontal vertical trace of the bleak plane that contains the front face of the building. And similar to the last one we did in 2009, uh, the front face of the building is this flat face here, all right, representing that surface there. So again, I'm going to shade it in. Okay, so that is our front face in orange and the curve recess here it isn't included in my plane, all right? The plane is a flat surface, or it's not being 3D in shape. So that's why I've only shaded in this section here. So again, let's look at it. Again, a nice one, it's resting on the XY line. So if it's resting on the XY line, 
and we have two points here, giving you two points in the plan. By joining them together, because those two points are resting on the x, y line, i.e. the horizontal plane, by joining them together, you have to get the horizontal trace. Okay, that is the angle of the horizontal trace. Again, I'll put a bit of shade in that. Might stand out a bit from the rest of the drone. So by joining the two points in the surface are resting on the x, y, nine elevation together, it's giving you the horizontal trace. It could be an edge of the surface, or it could be two points or whatever. That has to be the horizontal trace, okay? This is giving you a point on the vertical trace as well because they join together here because they'll meet back at that corner, all right? How do I find the point they found up here in the elevation for another point on the vertical trace? Just like the last question, this is the angle of the horizontal trace. Take the top of the surface, or even another point, okay, and then we'll do. In this case, we're taking the top of the surface, projecting it back parallel to the horizontal trace, because that's gonna be like the top of your oblique plane. Okay, that's the surface there. So I'll highlight that as well. And that angle is parallel to your horizontal trace. It was projected straight up. Because remember, that's giving you a point on the vertical plane and it has to be directly above itself if you're autographically projecting it up. So that was projected straight up. How do I find the height of that point? It's going to be the same height as the top of the surface here. Bring that parallel to the XY line across. And where they met had to be a point on the vertical plane. Because look, this XY line represents the vertical plane. Okay, it represents the vertical plane in the plan and your surface is cutting it there with the horizontal trace and with the top of uh, the other surface of projected parallel all right and all you're doing is basically we're rotating that surface down this is the surface now that's the vertical plane elevation and we're projecting onto that so to find that point you got to bring it straight up and you brought a par the top surface parallel to hd so bring it parallel again in elevation because remember this is your horizontal trace the xy line bring it parallel again i.e parallel to the xy line and where they meet is a point of vertical trace and you just join them back to the original point here and that's your vertical trace so there is um two more marking schemes to go and another one from this 2010 paper actually